before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 30-yard line. The Panthers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Tackle at the 49. The back gets three on the carry. That makes it second and six. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He's tackled at the 40. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. Going right to his tailback. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled at the 19. Call it a game of 12 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 10. That's a that brings up second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there. And the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown. Made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 71 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Straight run, and he's 
brought down in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. the stop at the 32. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. Tackle made at the 36. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Quick throw. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 40. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 35. This back might need a breather after that run. But when he comes back, just give it to him again. From the 11-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. to the goal line. He gets rid of this one. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-0, Panther. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. It's up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Hands it to the back. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Down right around the 40, and 
and the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Second down, eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Complete, he's out of bounds. We've got a change in the quarterback position. You've got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. From the 17-yard line, first down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. Before he can get there, they don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. After a decent run up the gut. That's good for the four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's level at the 37. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. tackle behind the line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. It did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He makes it to the 32-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Nice run there. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Good protection. 
He's taken down around the 42-yard line. I like the call here. Looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of about five. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he might want it all here and does. The defender had it and then dropped it. That makes it fourth and long. Try to change the field position with his kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset and are very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all serve. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. At the 48. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Quick throw. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The defense comes up with a stop on third down. Well, for some reason, they thought they'd be able to pick up the first down on the ground. I'm very surprised they didn't try to pass for it.
And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 10-0, Panthers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you... They need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Receivers got the first down, and they make the stop at the 40-yard line. play developed the way it was supposed to and the net result is a loss from their own 37 yard line second down and he throws it away even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers Him hard at the 29 yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he's tackled at the 49. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. We're about set to start things up again. Little handoff. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Again with a carry. Ball is loose. Fumble. 
Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And they couldn't have asked for a better time for the turnover. Right, Herbie? Well, I'm sure they could have used a couple of these earlier in the game, but better late than never. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Brought down in the open field. Five yard line. It's first down. Makes it to the twenty one. Outside the goal line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And it pays off. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Bearcats were just cruising along in the first half, but the fortunes have slipped a little bit here in quarter number three. They're just not the same team offensively. It's, it's been a struggle in the third quarter. Let's see if they can get back on track and be able to build on their lead. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Call it a game of 25 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 38-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and two. Two times, two times. Goes 
left and tackled in a hurry. And so it's another third down upcoming here. That's a great tackle at the 21 yard line. Brought down around the 13 yard line. That makes it second and And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's taken down at about the three yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Again, he'll get the call. And they'll score. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 70 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Makes the catch, and look out. He goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. What a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, second down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. That's three down and one to go. The Panthers with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Three yard gain by the running back. Inside the 48. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receivers. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. 
It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he tackles him hard at the 20. That's a deal of 8 on the play. That makes it second and 2. forward to about the 20 and the halfback's got nowhere to go it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker tackle at the five yard line brad i think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas from offense third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Second down, goal to go. About a yard to Pater. And he's level at the one yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Well, with that score, now it's up to the defense, and they're well aware that maybe one stop and they've got a victory. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 46-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. It's really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. We're about set to start things up again. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Number 32. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He is drilled at the 45. He made a good read here to find his teammates. That's sound decision making. Spikes the ball. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Mike four, Mike four. Here we go. Yeah, 
Quick strike, and he drops it. Number one, the intended receiver on the way. Fourth down. Three down, three down. Mike, four. Get to that quickly. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The Panthers, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.